So the tree in front of my house uh, seems to be splitting in two. I have like two big branches that go like that and it's splitting right down the middle. So at first I was going to try to like save it by drilling a hole through it and putting some threaded rod like this. So I would have just cut this rod and then put these big washers on both ends and I try to tie it back together. Now, this seems like a very simple thing to do. For whatever reason, I was having a lot of trouble drilling the hole. At first I was using a bit like this and then I was gonna use like a bit extension to just keep going because this is actually not long enough for that trunk. The problem with these bits is, as you can see, they have like this little screw thing and that's what drives it in. And then this basically cuts and then it augers its way through. Now the problem is sometimes what happens and well it seems to always happen with this bit is instead of actually going through the wood it just breaks it and then this just creates like a really like clean hole and then it just spins without actually going through. So these are kind of crap in that way. Like I don't know they might work in very specific situations like a very specific kind of wood but it, they're not universal it doesn't work on any kind of wood so it's kind of a pain. So failing that, so I moved on to try to use a spade bit like this. These usually work really well. They go through the wood, they don't stall. Well, I drilled in, it started to go through and then it just got stuck. And when I say stuck, I mean like really stuck. Like I tried everything, I couldn't get it out. It was actually the half inch version of this bit that I used. So it looks like it would have worked, but I would have had to like back out a lot I just didn't realize it would get stuck that much. So the next thing I tried was this bit over here. Now this is a bit I usually use for data cabling. It's like the perfect size to run maybe like two ethernet cables. And then it even has a little hole in it somewhere right here. So you can actually tie your cable and pull it out. So basically what you do with this is you, you make your hole for like your plug your jack and then you drill through down and then in the basement you can pull the wire up. So these are nice for that. The problem is the shank is just round. I don't know why they make bits like this. So there's not enough for the drill to chuck the grip on. There's Well there's basically nothing. So when I tried to drill through the tree it would just spin freely and it went, the bit itself went turn. It usually works fine like 2x4s and stuff but to try to do anything more serious they just because of that shank. Otherwise, I think it would have worked. So, I kind of gave up at that point. Like I didn't have any other bits to try and Home Depot selection for drill bits is not that great to be honest. Pretty much all the bits I have are the same kind I can get there. And I even have some that are not even there anymore. Like, I don't know, they must have downsized like how many bits they sell, I don't know. So anyway, so yeah, I gave up and I decided it was probably inevitable that I would have to cut the tree anyway so I just went ahead and started doing that and a while back I bought myself an electric chainsaw it's a 12 volt brushless Ryobi chainsaw this is not sponsored so I was kind of excited to get to use it at the same time because I only used it for a couple little smaller branches and I have to say it went really well there was, was only one branch I was kind of concerned that it might hit the house so I actually left that up and then I'm gonna leave that to the pros. And then the trunk itself is like, it's huge. Like, I don't know, it must be about like, probably with this big, like it's hard to kind of visualize there, but the bar of my chainsaw, it, like it didn't go through the whole thing. So I could have tried to go like around and try to, but that's kind of pushing the saw to its limits. I mean, it's a 18 volt battery operated chainsaw like even a gas one probably has a little bit of trouble going through like a trunk that big like if, like an equivalent gas chainsaw so I decided to just hire the rest out and I have enough branches that's almost as tall as the house to get rid of so I may as well get them to get rid of that too so that will get done at some point but for now I'm just going to show you the time lapse footage of me cutting that tree down so enjoy
And that's all she wrote for my part of the work. So the rest I ended up hiring out. They actually came not too long ago because they tried to kind of put me ahead. Because I had another tree in the back that was actually really dangerous. I didn't realize how bad it was, but they looked at it and they really wanted to push it forward. Because it was pretty much on the verge of falling on the house. It basically started to die like this year. And the leaves never really came out fully and it was just kind of like... It wasn't completely dead, but it was almost dead. So yeah, they got rid of that one too. I didn't even touch that one myself. They, I got it professionally done. I would have had to like get a cherry picker or something to do it. I was kind of contemplating doing it and I figured best to leave it to the pros. So yeah, so the tree in the front is done and the one in the back, it's looking quite open now. It's pretty crazy to see this. Like, a, like it's gonna take some getting used to this view, that's for sure. But it's kind of nice in a way that it's fully open. I think it. I think it just opens up, and I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get more sun as well, so that's gonna be good in winter. And yeah, this tree was really split in half. Like all the big logs, like once they start to chop them up, like they were they were already like pre-split, like for a good part of the tree. So yeah, it's, it's probably a good thing I got rid of it. It's kind of too bad to get rid of a tree, but yeah. But anyway, so this is pretty much it for this video, and hope you enjoy that. Mm, bye.